Hey guys, this is Blaine with Treasure State again. Uh, I just wanted to make another quick video today. Uh, I want to show you guys an inside look at what my spreadsheet looks like, how I track my inventory, uh, how I crunch some of my numbers. Now, I don't use this anymore, uh, but I still use some of the features for, for 2014 here. Uh, right, so so I'm going to show you guys a little bit about how I set my spreadsheet up. Uh, a couple things up at the top here. We've got my total cost for all my purchase clothes uh, starting this year, uh, what they've sold for, the eBay fees, the PayPal fees, my shipping costs, and then my net prices, and then the cost of my sold items. And then I get over here with some measurements uh, that I record and put in each one of the listings. So last year I had uh, A stock numbers this year. I just went to B, started at 101, just go down sequentially. So you can see that I've already, this year, I've already got 154 uh, things in here in these first two weeks of the year. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good with that. This definitely makes it easier to find uh, your stock, makes it easier to record your transactions, all that sort of stuff. So, so far this year, of the stuff I've listed, I've sold only sold nine items, and those are the ones that have information across here. Uh, you can see those, Articat, Jacket, uh, sold for $42.50, $55, um, Sean Kemp Shoes for $75, Orvis Gore-Tex Coat for $50, Old North Face uh, Pullover for $33, down here, uh, K-Swiss T-Shirt for $15, We've got a Jeff Horn sec jersey for 40, a Woolrich vest for 18, and a Patagonia uh, uh, coat for 55. So I've got all my columns totaled. They go up to the top here so I can easily calculate my numbers. And over on the side here, I break these numbers down further uh, so we can kind of get to percentages, see where I'm sitting business wise. So my total sales have been $384.93. My cost of goods for those sold, uh, just for those sold, is 46. Now my total cost of goods over here is 622. Uh, now I just broke this down. I usually don't have this here. I actually do use QuickBooks, so uh, I do my accounting a, a little bit differently now, starting this year. Um, but I just wanted to throw some numbers at you guys here. So cost of goods sold uh, is 11, about 12 percent of the sales. Uh, the eBay fees $27. I am a top rated seller so I get a 20% discount that's why it is 7%. Uh, the PayPal fees that's going to be your 3% or what is it? It's either 2 or 3% plus the 30 cents. I think it's 3%. So that's $13.87. Uh, the shipping is 47% or $47 at uh, 12 12 12.5% and then my total profit is so far this year is $249.67. Um, now I've sold quite a few other things. I've sold about, I think, another 18 or 19 things that I had in the previous spreadsheet um, down here in my other clothing spreadsheet. Um, so a lot of these numbers look pretty good. Obviously, your cost of goods sold, 12%. That's a great number. Uh, the fees, eBay fees and your PayPal fees, these are going to be consistent it's a fixed uh, percentage for most of the stuff so your those really aren't going to fluctuate at all uh, now the shipping I think last year all my numbers they were about this as well um, so your you can basically count on your eBay fees and PayPal fees plus your shipping usually being around 25 to 30 percent of your total sales uh, it's not going to fluctuate too much in there as long as you get some good shipping deals and are shipping economically. Now, taking 65% profit, now granted this is a very small sample, um, my end of the year numbers definitely will not be this good. I will probably see that number fluctuate, move back and forth, anywhere between probably 53 and 60%, I would imagine, depending on how good I'm doing. So this was just a quick hitter, what my spreadsheet looks like, some things that you guys can do to uh, help you out. Uh, this was Blaine with the Treasure State Trove. Thanks for watching.